Well, 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 it is time to tempt our taste buds. The bread gal is in the house. We are so thrilled to have Maria Austin in our studio today. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing excellent. <laughs> now that you brought these delicious looking treats, I will take one of everything. So, you know, tell us a little bit about the bread gal. At one time, it was known as the bread guy. What's the story behind that? Um, so I was, through connections to the Saginaw Career yeah. Complex, I was put in a name to someone and then it snowballed and um, I have a partner in this so then I've always wanted to bake and have my own bakery since I probably age of three or four Ooh, I've been baking that long mm -hmm. so we know that these must taste delicious you have your own little special little special things that you put in there right I do well, but the touches most of these are um, the bread guys recipes okay. so we're gonna keep everything the same but then we're gonna throw some twists and stuff because the bread guy is iconic, a yes. staple in the community. It really is. So tell us what are some of the goodies that you like to whip up at the bread cow? Um, we have a multigrain bread, which is my second favorite. Yeah. Friday's has the Parmesan peppercorn, which oh. is my ultimate favorite. Mm -hmm. um, we have the breakfast bread, which is filled with a bunch of nuts, um, really? seeds. That's this one. That's delicious. This um, one right here is really catching my eye. What is that? That is the harvest pie. So we're only going to run this till next week. Okay. They have butternut squash, acorn squash, potatoes, onions, uh, Brussels sprouts, cranberries. It's like a meal. Basically. And the bread there. Yes. Okay. And a, like a pie crust. Yeah, and this one crust. looks a little sweet. You have some yes. little sweet So that's a mixture treats. between a cheesecake and a pumpkin pie. Oh but there are many. Gosh, my mouth is like <laughs> watering right now. Okay, so I love it. And you have some, what's this? Like, it looks like a scone almost. It is. It is, okay. It's a blueberry lemon scone. So that's our flavor right now. So that's healthy. Blueberry. Yeah, it yeah. has fruit in and it. Lemon. Okay. So do you cater as well? Um, just getting into it, yeah. I would love to. Yeah. We do um, a lot of breads for local restaurants okay. as well. You have Diggs Cafe and yeah. Franken with Thickets, our bread, Fralia's, right. Fig and Honey. And then the Second Country Club just jumped on board. Love it. What's one of your favorite Here, treats that you make? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> one of, like I said, one of each. I'm I want to say my meringue cookies. Oh, your meringue cookies? Yes, you, oh, they're baked look, meringue. Look at this. That is delicious. And those actually have pumpkin spice in them. But through culinary school and yeah. such, I have came up with my own recipe. And we have Mamma Mia's Melt Aways, they're called. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know what I love the most is that you volunteer at Saginaw Career Complex. You mentor students in the art of baking, also train them to mm -hmm. compete in competitions. And you guys have gotten a lot of state and national yeah. awards. Why do you think it's so important for you to give back and to, to share your talents with the youngsters? They are our future. Yeah. And if we don't have them in this industry and we don't train them how a restaurant really works or a bakery really works, they're never going to learn life lessons through life. Um, yeah. You know, we throw them in the dish tank the first day. So That's you great. learn where all the pots and pans go, where everything goes, then you move up from there. Because it's not just baking. You have to use the utensils, mm -hmm. clean up, and all those things actually go into it. You've got to stay organized. You've got to stay organized. I love that. So how can people contact you? How can they get in touch with you? Uh, mainly Facebook right now. Okay. And then the number has stayed the same. So they could call directly. Um, we are in the works of a new website. Um, the logos and the windows are changing slowly. So we're finalizing all that. This is exciting. And we're going to have a link to all of her information on our <laughs> website. So not to worry. We will let you know how you can get some of these delicious, yummy treats. And this little meal in a little nice little bakery thing. I mean, mm -hmm. what is that? That is gorgeous. And it's beautiful. And it's uh, delicious. Okay, so thank you so <laughs> much for stopping by. We appreciate it. My mouth is watering. I'm sure the viewers out there are saying, where can I get this? So <laughs> we will have that information for you. Do not worry. Thank you <laughs> thank for sharing you. your talents. And thank you for what you do for the youngsters. It's very important to give back. And we all know that. Yeah, thank for you so sure. Much. <laughs> if you would like to uh, see something on our show, if you have an idea for us, all you have to do is Send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.